So Miles Gaskin is officially out. So if you have Miles Gaskin, obviously a little bit disappointing, but I think he'll be back next week. So now, if you have Matt Breida, or if you're thinking about playing Matt Breida, who should you play him over? I'm going to try to answer that for you. Also, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. And if I don't answer some of your questions, ask it in the comments below. I'll answer any questions you have. So with him being out, and then also we have Ryan Fitzpatrick, officially the quarterback this week due to Tua having a thumb injury. A thumb injury. We'll see if that's true or not. Um, but we have Ryan Fitzpatrick the quarterback and I think this is just a much better offense with Ryan Fitzpatrick behind center um, I wouldn't say maybe not necessarily a better team just because he's gonna turn the ball over Tua didn't really turn the ball ball over at least he wasn't that good of a passer though um, but with Ryan Fitzpatrick it's much better for us fantasy players so let's go ahead and talk about Matt Breida so with Matt Breida I, I haven't seen any reports that have said that he's going to see like majority of the work. I honestly would put him like high end RB2 range right there with say David Montgomery. I probably play David Montgomery over him just because I know what David Montgomery is going to see compared to Matt Breida. I There's still a little bit of doubt that maybe he sees it's like a 60 40 split kind of with him and um, not necessarily DeAndre Washington, but also patrick laird out there as well um but i would consider playing him over guys like melvin gordon for sure because i think i've already kind of talked about this i don't think that team gets anything going especially on the ground you're gonna have to hope he falls in the end zone or breaks off a really long touchdown run to be efficient i don't see that happening new orleans giving up the fewest points to running back on the season so i don't really like melvin gordon also, I'm not going to trust the Ronald Jones situation. I have no idea. I think Ronald Jones is the play this week, but they could also trot out Leonard Fournette to drop a couple more passes. Why they don't let Ronald Jones just run the backfield, I have no idea. But hey, that's where we are. So I'd play him over guys like that. Um, also, I will say I have a Steelers player in here. But I'd play him over the Steelers players. If you feel a little risky and you want to risk some of the Steelers players, go ahead. Me personally, I'm more conservative. I'll just play the guys that I know are going to play. So I'd play Matt Breida over, you know, if I had Benny Snell, Gus Edwards, even like Deontay Johnson or Chase Claypool in the flex position. I'd play Matt Breida over those guys just because I don't trust the situation whatsoever. So I do think he's a pretty solid play this week, but I want to play him over Kalen Blage. That's, I mean, the guy is in like Eckler is not playing. So I. I want to play him over somebody like that, but I do think he's a pretty solid play this week if you need somebody at the running back position um, over Damian Harris, although I really do like Damian Harris a lot this week, but I play him over Damian Harris. So maybe you can't get Brita. Maybe you don't have Brita. Who else can you play if you're hoping Miles Gaskin was going to play? Jordan Wilkins is a pretty solid play in my eyes. Um, I wouldn't play him over Matt Brita. I play Matt Brita personally, but I do think he's a pretty good play, especially in like standard scoring leagues. I, I've already kind of said this. Maybe Nahi Hines over him in PPR, um, but I do think Jordan Wilkins is a pretty solid play. Obviously, the news came out Jonathan Taylor's not playing this week so maybe he's still available maybe he's not in your leagues if not somebody else that I would consider playing as well also this is a really good matchup with Tennessee Tennessee's given up a decent amount of points to the running back position this year um next one would be Frank Gore and I've talked about him plenty of times Frank Gore he's going to see touches uh playing against Miami now Miami's not very good against the run they just got beat up last week by Denver Denver gate they got a lot of yards and some touchdowns so I don't expect Frank Gore to get a lot of yards, but I expect him to see plenty of touches that's going to make him fantasy relevant, especially if you have a guy like this week is pretty nuts. Let's be for real. Like this week is it's crazy with everything that's been going on. So you might be here. You might have to play Frank Gore, and I don't think it's that bad of a play. So if you're desperate, I won't even see desperate. He's like a running back three in my eyes this week. So if you need somebody and you're not quite sure if he would be good enough to play, I do think he's a pretty good play if you don't really have much left. Let's get into so the next one, this is more like desperation. If you feel like a risk taker, James Conner is officially out. So if you feel like a risk taker, go ahead. Benny Snow, put him on your bench. I would try to have a backup plan for Monday night. I'm going to give you a couple of receiving options here. If you need some players, maybe in the flex position, because you probably are playing him at the flex spot. So these are going to be some players that you can definitely flex in. Rashawn Higgins has a good matchup, very good matchup with Jacksonville. Jacksonville right now is giving up the eighth most points to the wide receivers this year. Also, they have a bunch of injuries in the secondary. So honestly, I do think he's a pretty good play this week. I'd say like a low end wide receiver three with some upside, definitely some upside because he could catch a long touchdown pass. Um, and I just think 
that they'll be able to move the ball effectively against Jacksonville. Next one here is going to be Jalen Rager. So somebody else, if you need a flex play, if you're struggling at the flex spot, I think this is a good play this week as well. Um, they play possibly the worst secondary in the NFL, right? Uh, so I think Jalen Rager is an okay uh, play this week desperation not, I wouldn't even say desperation flex more like a lower end wide receiver three as well right there with shot with Rashad Higgins so I think these two kind of right there with each other whatever one you prefer me personally I think I go Rashad Higgins just because I think I like that offense better and a better matchup so I'd go Rashad Higgins than Jalen Rager someone else that is probably available in your leagues is Jakeem Grant now I do think he's a much better with Ryan Fitzpatrick playing um, then obviously if two was playing. So I think if you need somebody this week, you're looking for anybody out there. I do think he's okay as a flex play this week, better than some other options with some upside too, with Ryan Fitzpatrick, definitely being the quarterback. I think that benefits him a lot compared to Tua. And then the last one here, you're really desperate and that's going to be Darnell Mooney. Now we have Mitchell Trubisky taking over. I do think that they're going to shadow, uh, Allen Robinson, with Jair Alexander so that's going they're going to have to go somewhere else with the ball and possibly here Anthony Miller is another person I didn't put him on here but Anthony Miller as well I think both of these two guys Anthony Miller and Darnell Mooney are okay plays at the flex spot if you're desperate and need somebody to score they're going to definitely be on the field they're going to have their opportunities they just need Trubisky to be able to hit them with the ball get it near them Mitchell that's all we're asking not 10 feet over their heads or into the turf so with that being said thank you for watching the video if you like this content please like and subscribe we'll be live on Sunday from 10:30 to 1 o'clock answering any questions you have so thank you and have a great day